of an iconic northern bird. On this episode of Animal Analysis, Gavia Immer, the common loon. One of the most alluring and iconic birds of the northern hemisphere, the common loon is possibly the most beloved water bird, and it's easy to see why. On their breeding ground of northern lakes, loons primarily feed on small fish such as shiners, chubs, and sunfish, supplemented with invertebrates like crayfish. Loons have amazing adaptations to help catch their slippery aquatic prey. Far back legs with webbed feet make them amazing swimmers, at the sacrifice of being able to walk on land properly. That's what they were named after. In addition, unlike most birds, loons have solid bones, decreasing their buoyancy, allowing them to be incredible divers. Though this does increase their weight, in fact, they need a large open lake, roughly 30 meters minimum, to use as a runway to take off. This can be especially dangerous if young loons aren't able to fly by ice in, as they can't take off from solid ground. Loons hunt by swimming along the water's surface, dipping their head into the water, and looking for prey. Excellent underwater vision allows loons to see the movements of tiny fish. When the loon spots its prey, it dives down, using its feet for propulsion. Unlike other birds like penguins, auks, and dippers that use their wings to prop propel them forward. The loon grips its prey in its beak and swallows it head first, either underwater or bringing it to the surface and swallowing it there. Unlike grebes that regurgitate pellets of undigestible bits, Loons maintain 10 to 12 pea-sized stones in their gizzard, which aid in the breakdown of those tough spines, bones, and scales that they prey of. Common loons breed on freshwater lakes in Canada, the United States, Greenland, and Iceland, migrating to coastal waters around Europe, the United States, Canada, and Mexico during the winter, as seen on this map. During the breeding season, adults have the iconic basic plumage, with black and white patterned feathers. The alternate plumage, present while birds are on their wintering grounds, is a much duller grey and white, which is similar to the juveniles after their little brown fluffball phase. <laughs> the only birds you've confused with the common loon is the other four species of loon. In the breeding season, the most similar is the yellow-billed loon, which can be distinguished by its yellow bill. But during the non-breeding season, things can get a bit trickier. Separate it from the yellow bill by noting the black bill on the common, not whitish ivory colored like the yellow bill. Note the larger size and blockier appearance in the head in comparison to the other three species, with the redneck being the smallest, the arctic will be pretty difficult to tell it apart from. The iconic wail and yodel of the common loon rings throughout northern lakes and is especially alluring at dusk. If you've ever been out by a lake right after the sun goes down and you heard the call of the loon, you know what I mean. Let's listen to that again. That sound should seriously replace all those meditation and study songs that they have on YouTube. <laughs> Loons nest on shorelines close to the water, or on floating man-made nesting platforms, if available, often return into successful sites from the previous year. They always nest right next to the water, as they struggle to drag themselves out of the water. And on average, a pair will lay two olive-brown speckled eggs, weighing roughly 150 grams. For contrast, that's roughly two and a half large chicken eggs. The chicks are small, but dark, fluffy down, and will leave the nest to swim with parents within a day. Chicks start swimming almost immediately, and will often ride around on their parents' back. They even dive under the water, trying to chase little minnows. 
Over time, the black down gives way to brown down, and eventually the gray juvenile plumage grows in. The young are dependent on their parents for food for eight to ten weeks after hatching, as they learn to hunt for themselves. It was long thought, based on morphology, that loons were sister to the greaves, but molecular evidence now places greaves sister to flamingos. You can watch our previous video on the horned grebe to learn more about that. Instead, it seems loons, or gaviforms, family gavidae, are part of a large water bird clade, the aquae ornis, along with the penguins, tube noses, that's the albatrosses and petrels, the storks, the cormorants, the herons, the pelicans, and their close relatives. Within the gavidae, there is only one extant genus and five extant species. Within that, the common loon appears sister to Gavia adamsi, which is the yellow-billed loon, obviously, that's the most similar looking as well. There are actually quite a few fossil loon species, including Gavia fortis, the extinct species which is sister to the common and yellow-billed loons that split from them roughly one million years ago, though we don't know how it went extinct. The exact origin of the loons is unclear, but sources suggest they diverge from the other water birds, either in the late Cretaceous or sometime quickly following the KT mass extinction, when birds quickly radiated to fill niches left by species that recently went extinct such as the dinosaurs and the pterosaurs. I filmed these common loons while canoeing on Lake Obiongo in Ontario, Canada this summer. Common loons are an incredibly interesting species. Until next time on Animal Analysis.